Vision is one of the five senses, a tool to perceive the world. At least 80% of information around us comes through vision, and we don't even give a single thought of how this intricate natural mechanism works. Poor ecology, malnutrition, electronic devices, and finally, age-related changes often lead to the loss of vision. Retinal disorder is one of the most severe pathologies. Macular degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa, complicated myopia, diabetic retinopathy, all these may cause blindness. Unfortunately, modern therapy methods based on classic medications hardly allow for stopping the progression of disease. At the same time, a unique method to restore retinal functions has been invented in Russia. This method is widely used by doctors at the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology. Institute Director Vladimir Havinson started his research in the early 80s at the Kirov Military Medical Academy, where he focused on the development of unique preparations to enhance the vitality of human bodily functions. Those preparations were initially meant for military men. One of the top secret research lines was the restoration of the retina damaged by a laser weapon. We have created the first peptide in the world extracted from the retina. I repeat, we were the first in the world. We tested this preparation on rabbits using a special model. The rabbits' retinae were exposed to laser, and after that, they were administered intramuscularly with the preparation in various combinations. The results were brilliant. By that time, we already had immune and brain peptides, so we could compare the results. And this particular retinal peptide was effective for the retina. We named it retinolamin. It restored the function of the laser-damaged retinal cells. Later on, we developed a complex treatment for restoration of the damaged retina. It included peptides from the retina, the brain, the immune system, the vessels, and the pineal gland. The latter regulates the melatonin production, which is extremely important. This complex of five peptide preparations is the best in the world. In all modesty, this is the best treatment method in the world. The St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology was founded in 1992 to implement fundamental and applied tasks in the field of bioregulation and gerontology and to introduce into medical practice the results of the experimental and clinical studies of a new class of medications, the peptide bioregulators. The technology used by these St. Petersburg doctors involves the administration of peptide complexes, which are comprised of peptides isolated from the retina, the thymus, the brain vessels, the pineal gland, or their synthesized equivalents. The level of effectiveness of this treatment reaches up to 95%, with no similar results in modern ophthalmology. At the same time, peptide therapy can be successfully combined with traditional surgery. Being a surgeon is to be filled with great stress and great relief at the same time. Because, for example, you remove a cataract and your patient can see again. In our case, it works differently. Here, we work with processes that can't be surgically removed. You can't just cut it off and get a great result at once. For us, it's an uphill task. You have to work long and hard to stop the deterioration and to achieve even the slightest improvement. Another thing is that nobody can help in such cases but you yourself. You just don't produce such significant effects as a surgeon does. Of course, we never treat surgical pathologies. If it has to be operated upon, it has to be operated upon. But there are certain cases where surgery is useless. And in those cases, we are here and worth our weight in gold, for sure. All necessary diagnostic procedures are carried out on the premises of the Medical Center of the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology. It is extremely important to diagnose any pathology at its initial stage, when the effect of peptides is the greatest. But there are some patients who can't be cured by classical ophthalmology.
I've been a member of the Association of the Blind of the Nevsky District since the year 2000. I am a disabled person of the second category. And I've heard that our chairperson, Galina Volkova, was receiving some kind of injections. I didn't ask for details because everyone suffers his own diseases, and we've never talked about it. But, but once there was a discussion, and she told us how happy she was with the doctors of that medical center and of their help, and also added that she was still in good health because of those injections. In fact, it wasn't an advertisement. It was simply word of mouth. Many people hear about it this way. I believe the Institute is well worth knowing and worth speaking about so that people can come here and get help. When I came here, I had completely lost the sight in my left eye, but I could still see with the right one. For this reason, I have been monitoring its condition, and I can say that at the moment that the disease has stopped. My main concern is that it won't progress, because it may lead to very sad consequences. So, I'm always alert. The doctor is very considerate and the medical personnel are very caring. So, I am very satisfied. We always monitor the results of treatment using different tools. This is a machine to check the field of vision. This is a computerized perimeter. It's a new model. We got it quite recently. We use it for assessing the vision of patients with quite high visual functions and the initial stage of a pathology, because the machine is very sensitive. As a rule, we perform the field of vision test on the first and on the final days of treatment. This is also an apparatus for field of vision testing, but it's an old one. We've been using it for a long time. Here we keep our entire client base, including those who have been our patients for a long period of time so we can compare the results on this old machine. It is also useful for testing patients with low visual functions. The signal here is very strong and it is easier for seniors to react to it. The patients of the medical center represent a wide variety of professions. Everyone wants to destroy disease, whether you're a scientist or a humanist. But an artist can't paint if he can't see. This is why so many people involved in the art professions come here. It was a chance circumstance. I heard a radio advertisement, that's all, and then I came here. I was in a desperate, critical condition because of my retina and other things. I was close to the edge, faced with a Category 1 disability. But thanks to this treatment, I was saved. I can see more or less. My intuition also helps me. But the initial help giving me something to start with, I got here. It's only thanks to this medical center, their preparations, and these people that I found new life as an artist. This artist has only 20% vision in one eye. We've worked hard to achieve results, and it has now reached 30%. We have another patient from Switzerland. These are his paintings. This one as well. This is how he paints and we also managed to preserve his vision, as well as improve it. Visual acuity and perception distance get worse, you see? You can paint, but it's rather strenuous, or you have to wear special glasses to be able to see. Well, this is the situation at the moment. Usually I come here for 10 days and 10 injections, and it allows me to maintain my vision in a better state, without any regression. And you know, Dr. Yulia Asokina is very kind and attentive, and she has all the answers to all my questions. She is like a sister caring for her brother, if I may say so. And she's trying to help her brother get better. That's what I think. Havinson peptides are especially effective in the case of retinitis pigmentosa and macular degeneration. In the case of retinitis pigmentosa, the method of treatment developed at the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology leads to increased visual acuity and to significant field of vision and scotopic vision improvements immediately following administration of the initial course. In the case of macular degeneration, the application of peptide bioregulators contributing to retina restoration allows for achieving good results even in difficult cases. Severe retinal diseases such as macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and retinitis pigmentosa inevitably lead to blindness. Today, there is no remedy in the world except for these peptide complexes. 
30 years of experience in the application of these peptide complexes allows us to say that we are not only able to stop the progression of diseases, but also able to improve visual functions and the patient's quality of vision which is even more important. What I mean is the improvement of visual acuity and extending the field of vision. The technologies which we implement here at the medical center are unique and our experience in the treatment of these kinds of patients is vast. And we can say that as of today, this is the only option that helps in combating these severe pathologies. These are the fields of vision. Here we have a compilation, but it's rather an outdated one. So these are the fields of vision of our patients before and after treatment. This is a case of retinitis pigmentosa, a rather rare one. It's one-sided. The green color stands for a normal field of vision. You can see the green here. This is good visual acuity. And the color black means that in this area, the patient sees nothing. So these pictures show a patient's vision before and after therapy. Look how the number of green spots have increased. This is a case of macular degeneration, the dry form. I remember this patient. These are also fields of vision before and after treatment. See, the left eye didn't respond much, but some improvements can still be noted. This is the central area, the most important part. And here is how this part reduced. You can see it here. I remind you that green means normal, everything else is digression. Black is absolute blindness. You can see how it decreased as well, before and after the treatment. Word of mouth also works in the countries of the former Soviet Union. Not only people from Russia come to St. Petersburg to undergo a course of treatment with Havenson peptides. Russian television is very popular in Azerbaijan, all of the Russian channels. We are interested in Russian economics, science and medicine. And one day I started searching for possibilities for restoring my child's vision. I came across the website of the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology, got in touch with the head of the Department of Ophthalmology, Yulia Asokina, and we agreed to meet for a medical screening and to discuss potential treatment. We are hoping that the treatment will be effective and that the desired results will be achieved. There is a special category of patients at the institute headed by Vladimir Havinson. These are foreign patients. Diseases, unfortunately, know no borders. And whatever they say about the miracles of Western medicine, the ophthalmologists of St. Petersburg have been successfully treating patients from numerous countries for many years now. We have patients from all over the globe, Australia, Japan, France, the Netherlands, Portugal, etc. They come from those countries where nobody is able to help them with their pathologies. And as I said, our developments are unique. This is how it works. The first time the patient comes by himself, the next time he brings his sister with him, then his brother, then the whole family. As I mentioned, we work with genetic pathologies. I came here in May 2004 to have my eyes looked at because I have uh, molecular degeneration, macular degeneration. Uh, the doctor I initially saw was Svetlana, and now I'm seeing Dr. Julia. Uh, very competent and is looking after my interests in uh, progressing the treatment. Uh, I have been coming here for, this is my 13th treatment, and every time I come back, there is always a positive move in the diagnosis. Initially, I had no vision across the left eye. I have virtually 100% vision across the left eye and colour definition. Before I started the treatment, the red light in a traffic light in Australia was yellow. After one treatment, I go back to Adelaide and I see that the yellow light still was yellow. Five days after I landed, uh, in Adelaide, I go past the traffic light and it changed instantly to red. It has remained red ever since. And therefore, the, the improvement is very slow, but it is always progressive. It has never receded. It's either stable or, or going forward. 
It was uh, more or less three years ago because my eyes, I mean, my sight decreased and I was looking for something <laughs> could help my sight. I went all around to speak to doctors and I was not very satisfied. So one day in the internet, I saw your, um, your clinic and I said, that's it. I want to try because I didn't know exactly what the peptides, but I have a slight idea what, about the peptide, but it doesn't exist in the body, you see. But I didn't know what it was going to be. So I said to my husband, I want to try to go to this clinic. And I'm very glad, very happy. Vladimir Havenson's reputation and inventions are known worldwide. And speaking of the application of peptides in cases of retinal diseases, it's worth mentioning that the results of peptide bioregulation therapy have been highly praised by many foreign specialists. The government of Greece authorized the treatment of a group of patients with retinitis pigmentosa in Athens. The director of the OMMA hospital, the main ophthalmologist of Greece, supervised the research himself. A large group of patients was treated with peptides that were provided by us. They showed brilliant results. No other medication in the world, be it from the USA or Asia, can be compared in its effectiveness to our method of treatment. This is the best and truly the most unique comprehensive method of retina treatment. This is, now this is one of, the, one of the extraordinary things about the military background of this, because I heard that the three, the three real um, questions, or the three real problems that Kirov Institute was given to solve were chemical warfare, radiation warfare, and blinding lasers because this was a big weapon used by the American army in the 50s, 60s, blinding lasers. So they said, okay, you will find a way of rebuilding the retinas of eyes. And that's it, that's the order. So they found a way of rebuilding the retinas of eyes. And this is what the peptides now can do, and it works. Now, in the civilian application, isn't isn't uh, reversing from blinding lasers, it's reversing from macular degeneration and diabetic uh, retinopathy, and it works. Big work, uh, Professor Kavinson and Professor uh, Trofinova have developed this in the field first of ophthalmology. This was great because can you imagine when you are blind, in your life is terrible and we have many pathology that can lead to this like diabetes and different genes and different um, genetic pathology from the retina and using specific peptide from the retina and also first specialized for the eyes but also for our genes re regulation and also full body uh, to targeting peptide because it's a process of aging also. We have incredible and, and fantastic result on recovering this blindness, stopping these degenerations and even recovering. That's why it's not, it's not anti-aging. We are reversing time. We are getting hope and uh, quality of life to this patient. We, were, we had nothing to propose to them. The ophthalmologic uh, researchers uh, is surprised that in Indonesia I've been using this to save my father and many other patients. But I, what I can see, my father got, has diabetic. I try everything to him, uh, hormones, uh, stem cells, and he still cannot drive in the evening. It's getting better, but when I use the peptide uh, for the retina, and uh, it's amazing. My father, in uh, 15 years ago, had a stroke, and uh, it's difficult to see a little bit. And now my father can drive even in the evening. <laughs> he can drive his car, and also helping many other patients uh, in my country, and I'm sure in uh, many parts of the world. Specialists of the St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology, under the supervision of Professor Havenson, conducted unique investigations on the effective application of peptide complexes in various fields, including ophthalmology. Havenson peptides not only help to cure disease, but 
They also contribute to the vitality of the entire organism on a cellular level. We have a very interesting preparation, which I always include in the treatment program, a pineal gland preparation. This gland is absolutely unique. It regulates the metabolic processes of two main hormones, the melatonin, serotonin metabolism. Moreover, its structure is similar to that of the retina. For this reason, in most complicated cases, I always include pineal gland preparations in the treatment protocol. It contributes to the activation of all the organism's functions. If a patient is only administered pineal gland preparation, he says he feels young. It's like a side effect. All our preparations reveal an anti-aging effect. The St. Petersburg Institute of Bioregulation and Gerontology and the specialists of its medical center can truly perform miracles. Unique technologies, a personal approach to every patient, and preparations that are unparalleled anywhere in the world. But what can be done to preserve our precious vision? Here are some recommendations from Dr. Yulia Asokina. All patients with myopia must have their vision checked at least once per year. The same concerns the retina. If even the slightest sign of degeneration appears, measures should be taken. Avoid bright sunlight, wear sunglasses, and stick to a special diet. The World Health Organization recommends that all patients with retinal pathologies eat fatty sea fish twice a week as a source of omega-3, and at least one fruit a day. This is the modus vivendi, so to say, the suggested living model for a person who has potential problems with their retina or is already experiencing them. Today, the application of Havenson peptides in ophthalmology remains one of the most effective methods for the treatment of retinal pathologies based on the opinion of specialists and patients, both Russian and those from abroad. Don't delay your visit to a doctor. This is a general recommendation, especially if age is a consideration. Choosing the clinic that will conduct the diagnostics and administer the treatment is your own decision, but it should be done in time. The major retinal diseases are retinitis pigmentosa, diabetic retinopathy, and age-related macular degeneration. Aging also causes retinal degeneration, and the methods of treatment we've spoken about are available for those who want to try them. We don't lure patients with promises of eternal youth. Those who want to, search, and those who are searching are our patients.